2013 was a strong year for Israeli tech. There were some $7.5 billion of deals, including the most initial public offerings since 2007. But is everything as rosy as it seems? Well, Middle East editor Elliot Gotkin is standing by in Tel Aviv with more. Elliot. Thanks, Francine. Yes, well, uh, investors, uh, politicians and pundits love to rave about Israel being the startup nation. But my guest here today uh, isn't a big fan of, uh, of that nickname. He is Shlomo Markel. He is vice president at uh, the U.S. multinational Broadcom. Thanks for joining me, Shlomo. I was here just a couple of weeks ago with a guy from PwC with his report talking about how, what a wonderful year 2013 was, especially for exits. Why were you not celebrating perhaps as much as others? Well, first of all, to celebrate uh, whenever you have the reason, it's excellent. And it was a great year for exits. But the point is that if you look on the exits, you are looking at the end point of a process. And the important thing, in my view, is to look on the process, especially looking forward and looking on the gradient and how things are developing. And when I look around and I see what's going on in some elements, I can give you some, I can show some stuff. And we have to do a lot of things in Israel to strive to keep the position of whatever is called the startup nation. Okay, now your concerns uh, range from, for example, fewer people studying science at university, yes. less government investment in right. research and development, and also the strong share. Well, how do we resolve some of these issues that you're concerned about? Well, uh, in my view, first of all, the most important thing is education. Because if you look on Israel, actually it's true globally, and actually in our company we're looking on STEM, science, technology, engineering, and stuff like that. But especially in Israel, in Israel, if you look around, uh, in China there are more people doing productive stuff. In India, there are great engineers. In Ireland, there are wonderful uh, tax entertainment. The great thing about Israel is creativity, ingenuity, and things like that. And that comes from culture, too. However, it comes also from high education. And if I look on the numbers, and I can see that 35% uh, of students being in science and technology decreasing to 24%, that means that we have to do something about that. If I look around and I see that uh, government investment in Israel in R&D was like 1.6, declining 2.4, that's interesting. Okay, but Israel still has more R&D per capita invested as a proportion of GDP than any other country in the world. Does it matter that most of that money is coming from foreign companies like yours? Actually, it depends how it looks, how you look at it. It's like everything. It's like the famous saying, uh, when you look on a bottle with half of it of water, some people say it's the half empty, some say the half full. I say, by the way, I'm quoting uh, some great rabbi, the fact that we have a bottle is a great thing. But to your question, I think it's great that many people are investing in Israel. And the fact that uh, some, I think 95% of the investments in general in uh, high tech in Israel are foreign and in uh, the specific R&Ds, I think it's uh, about 46%. But the other, other, the other, the flip of it is that when there is an exit, the one that you said about the celebration, right? Uh, so the people who are celebrating are the foreign people, which is wonderful globally, but what does it mean for Israel? Okay, I have to get to this question. The shekel, this is really killing industry and high tech right now. How, well, as, as your company Broadcom, for example, how is the strong shekel impacting a company like yours in Israel? I can give you a, a very simple, well, it's not so funny, but it was, um, might be hilarious in other cases. Uh, at the end of the year, we are looking on the expenses. We are looking on how much our uh, employees cost. We are a global multinational company. We are looking for the best people wherever. And somebody asked me, Shlomo, why did we raise salaries? Why the compensation went up in Israel? What's going on? Why the... So I'm going to have to stop you there. I know expenses rose quite a lot in Israel, and you didn't even take necessarily that many more. Nothing. Along. It's just, just the, the strong rate, shekel. the strong shekel, and it's bad. And there are some figures that if it will go even further, it will be very bad. Okay, going to hand it back to London there. Shlomo Markel, VP of Broadcom, thank you very much indeed.